right, so um, we're going to be evaluating some pain and injury areas for tendons and ligaments, and then we'll, after we identify exactly where these are, we're going to inject prolotherapy solution, which is a dextrose-based solution that creates inflammation in the body, and then the body um, responds to that with growth factors and platelets, and ultimately stem cells to regrow tissue. And um, this is very effective if we have minor injuries, and if we have um, injuries that have just occurred. Um, usually it has to be done multiple times. There is an inflammatory response, so people are usually sore for a few days to a week, and then you start to see some benefits from it. Mm -hmm. So the key to these injections is identifying the exact point of pain and injury. And before, when we first treated, he had very diffuse pain, and we were able to localize it and really narrow it down. So he's uh, he has his massage therapist here today, and we're going to be feeling different points of the tendon attachments, ligament attachments, and the joint and uh, strength-wise to, to right identify there. exactly where the pain is at, and we inject directly to that and create a very specific localized inflammation, and that's how you get the best results with these injections. So we've already cleaned the area with chlorhexidine to make sure it's uh, extremely sterile, and now I'm going to go right to the attachment. I try to get and press down to, to limit how much subcutaneous tissue we go through. Um, sometimes I will use ultrasound depending on where we're going and if, and if it makes sense for the, uh, the injection. Okay. Here we go. One, three. One, two, three. Solution has dextrose and lidocaine. So lidocaine will be used to numb. We're right on a bone. We like to go to the enthesis, which is the attachment of the ligament or tendon to the bone. Okay, here's some pressure. Hang on there. So usually it's a span of an inch or two, so we have to move the needle slightly up and down. And so it takes just some needle dexterity to get where we need to. Okay. How'd that feel? Okay. I felt it. Okay, that's good. <laughs> that's what we want. <laughs> so my injections are all about precision. So we don't want to see it. Okay, so now. Um, he has a very specific focal point of pain at the serratus anterior. It'll be injecting uh, that right now. So this is a dextrose and lidocaine solution. And it's going to be a little pinch. On three, one, two, three. And go to the bone. Obviously in this area we have to be cognizant of what structures are there. Which We have the ribs and then we have uh, the lung underneath. Even uh, getting close to the bowel area. It's just knowing your anatomy. All right. Let's put little amounts in each of these attachments. Okay, it's out. Three. Go to the bone, feel it, and inject. Do you feel much of this? A little bit. It's just so weird that feeling. Yeah. Hard to describe. Yeah, it's having that needle right at that point. Isn't that spot close to the first one we did? No, that's a good. It's a good six inches away, if not more. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to be injecting subscap. The motions that are hurting him are directly related to that. And uh, he has a lot of tenderness right at that area. Um, it attaches right near the bicep. As the bicep comes up, it attaches right next to it. So I'm going to be going in just based off my anatomic uh, locations and be able to go in and inject this. And here we go on three. One, two, three. Okay. 
there's some pressure. So we just injected with lidocaine plus a dextrose solution and the lidocaine numbed up the attachment so when he was reproducing that movement again the pain was gone so that means we got the right spot and now we just need to regrow it and um, prolo could do it in one treatment it may take multiple it usually does take multiple prolo therapy depends on the injury well the person to some degree but the injury if it's big injury it's definitely going to take more and then Worth doing PRP or stem cell. Okay, here we go. One, three, one, two, three. Yeah. Okay, so regenerative injections can be used for many different areas of the body. Um, the shoulder is one area. We can do rotator cuffs, we can do labrum, we can do joint, um, tendons, ligaments, whatever it might be. So instability, um, partial tears. We can never fix a full tear with these injections. But um, And then most of the time, um, depending on the severity of injury, we, we can uh, get the improvement at least 50% after one time, if not all the way back, depending on how bad the injury is. And right now we're going after, actually this looks like the tricep tendon and coming up into the, the uh, attachment of the joint. Okay, here we go on. Three, one, two, three. So it's a little pinch. And we just have to get to our spot that all about precision. And this is a dextrose plus lidocaine solution. You doing okay? Just waiting for it. Your breath? No, uh, because I haven't hit what I needed to. There, there, there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's it. So I go to the bone where the tendon attaches or the ligament attaches, and now we inject the solution. I do feel some scar tissue in there. So, all right, cool. So how'd that feel? I can feel it. Perfect. 